Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and it is now a new year. So now it's time to see what the world has to throw at us in 2024. So good luck to everyone for that. <laughs> but in today's video, we are going to be doing something that I have never done before. Today, I'm gonna to be partnering up with Rocksmith Plus to try and play Rocksmith Plus for the first time ever. It is pretty well known in the guitar community that for beginners, Rocksmith Plus can be a really, really cool, unique, fun kind of learning tool to get them playing guitar and playing full songs. And so many people have had such success with it but for more advanced players, it definitely poses more of a challenge. So we're gonna give that a go today, if not just for your entertainment. For those of you that don't know, Rocksmith Plus is a music learning platform from Ubisoft that teaches subscribers how to learn the songs that they love in a new and innovative way. They're basically a really big learning platform with a bunch of lessons, thousands of songs, and loads of really cool special little features to help you learn and master those songs. Rocksmith Plus is currently offering a seven day free trial to anyone who clicks the link below in the description to try it out. And you can join their 60 day challenge where they are encouraging both beginners and pros to pick up their guitars and start learning. I'm gonna be playing it on my iPad today and I'm using my Kiesel signature guitar, the SL6X, running through a quad cortex for the tone. Okay, so here we are on the home screen of Rocksmith. I went through the setup process. It basically asks you to like choose which handed guitar you are and helps you sync your guitar to the um, app. It's all done through an internal microphone. So it's super easy. You don't need any like extra cables or anything. And now here we are, so we can have a look. This is the home page, and you can see it's got some cool lessons and stuff. I think if you go onto learn tab, there's like a bunch of different lessons that go from like teaching you how to use the app all the way to like health and wellness posture. And press your face to one side. Then push back against your hand. So there's definitely a big library of lessons and really a big library of songs. Oh, we can customize our instruments. See, this is where we're gonna spend all of our time. Kiesel is so out, Care Bears is so in. <laughs> this one is sick. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, now we have designed our new signature guitar. I think we are ready to jump in and start playing some songs, which is the part I had been avoiding. So maybe, should we start with like a song that we know or like a completely new song? Okay, I think we're gonna start with Hysteria by Muse. The riff is mainly for bass, but we're gonna see if we can play it on guitar because I feel like that's a really cool riff that I know, but I don't know how to play. So let's give that a go. We're gonna turn the difficulty all the way up to 100 because in theory, we're a pro guitarist, we should be able to play it. So the tuning system is really, really good and it kind of gets you to know the colors of each string as well, which I feel like is gonna come in handy. Okay, let's see what it throws at us. I don't even know there was a guitar part. Oh. Going, oh, we're sliding. So I saw during setup, they've added a feature called RS tab, which I think is gonna make this a hell of a lot easier for me. See, this is already a game changer because I can see the tab. I can see like what notes are coming. It's what I'm used to seeing. So this is gonna make it a lot easier. I hope, maybe not, but we'll see. It's hard playing a song like first time, like, oh my god, there's more. It's kind of difficult to get the rhythm right. Oh my god, um, am I meant to be playing chords? Okay, 
Okay, that was cool. I definitely think I'm getting the hang of it. Like the tab situation makes it so much easier if you're an advanced guitarist. I could see if you're a beginning guitarist that the notes coming at you would probably be a lot easier because it's, I don't know, it's a bit more fun, I guess. But uh, as someone who reads tab, then this just makes it way easier and it's actually just like a really good way to learn a song. Okay, 12% mastery. Don't mean to brag, but I'm officially a pro guitarist now. It's good to have this qualification so I can put it on my CV when I'm applying to gigs. So let's have a look at their song library. Like, yeah, they have a massive selection of songs. I think it's over 7,000 or something that they've got. Okay, well, we've got to do Pantera. The good news is I know how to play the intro riff of Cowboys From Hell, so I think I can nail that bit. Uh, but I haven't played the solo in about five years and my brain is literally like a goldfish where I will play a solo one day and forget it the next day so I have absolutely no idea how to play the solo but we're gonna give it a go that's a lot of notes that's a lot of notes coming at me very quick So clearly we're struggling a little with uh, this section. So we're gonna use some of the tools that Rocksmith have to help us learn this. So I'm gonna try the riff repeater. I feel like that'll be really helpful here. I think the practice difficulty determines how many notes that you have, but I kind of wanna keep the amount of notes at 100% because I wanna learn like the whole solo. But we're gonna turn the song speeds down to like 50%. And we're also gonna turn a metronome on because I think that would be really helpful. Obviously we're not going to be able to learn that whole solo in one sitting up to speed, but being able to slow it down and kind of repeat these sections does definitely help. Okay, we got 3% accuracy, mastery 3%, so clearly I'm a guitar icon, um, you can bow down to me now, thank you. Something that I've been uh, challenging myself to learn lately is how to play more like kind of clean chords and interesting chord voicings and stuff and I wonder if this will be able to help with that because I see they have like a chords chart section. So we are going to have a look at some songs and see how that looks. Well obviously we have to do every breath you take by the police because that's just the rules. I don't make the rules, that's what we have to do. It's cool because we can change the difficulty of the chords. So we could just play root notes if we wanted. Clearly we can't. <laughs> So that kind of does what it says on the tin. It's a good way to learn the root notes of the chords that you're playing. So now we're gonna turn these into full chords. Obviously you can go up, you can learn power chords and then learn the basic chords and then learn the full chords, but we're gonna go jump straight into this. Oh, so that's cool. We have an actual chords chart here. So that'll be really helpful. So the chord charts here are reversed, which makes it quite difficult for me to play because I'm so used to seeing it kind of flipped. I wonder if there's a way to like invert that because that would be really helpful. Okay, so I found a way to change it here in the instrument settings. So I think it's gonna invert like the whole game though, but for chord charts, that's definitely how I'd want my chord charts. So let's try it again with that. See, that's so much easier when I'm looking at that. That's good, it has a way like for more advanced guitarists to invert it. <gasps> you achieved a new best mastery. Thank you. Solid progress. 89%, let's. 
go! Maybe I should start playing exclusively Please songs. I think the really cool thing about uh, Rocksmith Plus is that it kind of caters towards every different type of guitarist. So you could be a beginner and have so much fun uh, playing with like the notes coming towards you. That's really like kind of new and unique way of learning guitar that makes it really fun. Uh, or if you're a bit more advanced then and you know how to read tab, you know how to read chord charts, then you can also learn songs so quickly and easily by doing that by getting the tab up and then you can use all the learning tools like slowing it down like the riff repeater thing that we did adding a metronome to really help you kind of hone in on the licks and all the bits that you need to work on and learn the song really really quickly easily and in like quite a fun way so rocksmith have their 60 day challenge which is basically saying that anyone can learn guitar in 60 days and i really think that you actually probably can with this app, which is so interesting. Like it teaches you all of the skills you need in all of the songs. So if there's anything you don't know, like if you don't know how to tap, for example, it'll give you, you can just click on tapping and it'll give you a little lesson and you can watch like a proper lesson on it. And I think that's really, really cool to have all of these different tools at your disposal exactly when you need them. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, uh, watching me become a professional guitarist right before your eyes <laughs> or not. Remember, if you are a beginner, an intermediate or an expert and you would like to give Rocksmith Plus a go, then you can click the link in the description for a seven day free trial. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.